Taking time for self-care, even a little bit of time, is essential for maintaining your mental and physical health. But unless you actively make time for yourself, it's probably not going to happen. Now, finding this free time to relax or recharge your batteries is easier said than done. And self-care does mean different things to different people. Some moms might feel energized cramming in a workout at 5 a.m. before the kids wake up. Others might prefer to use their me time to just lay back, read a book, or scroll through social media. Whatever you want, that's okay, but here are a few suggestions that hopefully inspire you to make some time for yourself. Exercise. Whether it's 5 a.m. workout, start your day, or simply locking yourself in the room for an hour of virtual yoga, make time to use your energy to care for your body. Starting your day by accomplishing something will set the tone for your day. Finishing off with a mental wind down is a great way to release the stress from the day. Secondly, treat yourself. Some of us moms can really lose ourselves in the process of keeping everyone else's life in order. It is crucial that we have some alone time to get pampered or simply enjoy the little things. So make the appointment to get your hair and nails done, set up that hair appointment and get those roots done, girlfriend. You work hard, treat yourself. Number three, get some girl time in. Something about quality time with your besties can really fill your cup. Schedule a brunch or a dinner date with your girlfriends. Get all the cheese may out and enjoy some laughs, reminiscing about your beautiful memories together. You'll feel like a million bucks when you get back home. Last but not least, date night. It's so important to keep dating in a marriage especially. Plan a romantic dinner with your partner or take turns planning time with each other. This can be a walk in the park, a big elaborate vacation, anything you want. Now I know what some of you are thinking. Must be nice. I could never. There just isn't enough time. I promise you that the resources are out there. So if you don't have a spouse or family members to keep an eye on the kids, do your research and find a reputable nanny. Even if you do have to spend a little cash to get a night out, you're going to be happy that you did. I hope these tips help. It's nothing you didn't already know, but I know this is a healthy reminder to set aside time for yourself.